Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and truth. Today we are continuing on with video number, I believe we are on video number 40 of Beguiled Eden to Armageddon. Um, we are on Consciousness Seared, but I may do a few chapters today because they're a little bit shorter. Um, these are the two last chapters of this section of the book. We still have a ways to go, but we don't have much further to go. I'm going to talk with my husband and see um, about ordering um, either the first volume or the third volume of this book. Um, you guys, I'll do a poll to see which one you guys want me to do first. Because um, I'd, I'd rather order like a book every every four months or every however long it takes me to read one of these and finish it i would be able i would like to be able to um just uh order them as needed or whenever we need them okay so consciousness seared those who refuse to receive the love of our creator eventually are given over to a deluding spirit, a spirit of delusion. Like Brother Lou always says, the spirit of delusion. Or um, people have like delusion over them that, that uh, do not know their creator in their, in their true name. Where their consciousness is forever seared. Yahuwah created mankind with a conscience, a conscience to determine whether we want to honor him or not. But we are still all accountable to him. In fact, Romans 1, 18 through 20 explains man does not rebel because he has no knowledge of his creator or that his conscience does not convict him because it does. Everybody was designed to personally know our creator through that same little voice in their head telling them to straighten up when they do wrong. The more and more one fails to listen to that voice, rejecting conviction, eventually it su suppresses it. When one makes a choice to continue in unrighteousness, they have tuned, tuned into Satan and can no longer hear their creator. Once consciousness is seared, there is no turning back. At the end of a the age, 2 Thessalonians warns, the Ruach HaKodesh's restraining voice located in mankind's consciousness will be removed once the man of lawlessness is revealed, signifying Yahushua's bride has been caught away. I believe this is speaking about the rapture. I don't believe in the rapture. I believe we're going to still be here so we can help people to come to the truth, to come to the knowledge of the truth and repent in time so that the creator can take us all the way together. Okay. In 1 Corinthians 12, 13, we are told Yahuwah's Ruach HaKodesh becomes very active in every Nazarene during their conviction and, and um, immersion, here it says baptism, into the body of Mashiach. It is the... Ruach real sorry, Ruach HaKodesh's constant connection with our consciousness that protects us from evil. Even though the coming clone posing as, it says J-E-S-U-S -S here, posing as Yahusha will be accepted as a great man by the world's majority and praised as a savior. Nazarim or Christians will know he is not, he is not through discernment given to them by the Ruach HaKodesh. What I think here is that J-E-S-U-S will be the one that comes, but he will be the deceiver. He will, here it says he'll be the clone version, but I believe it'll be the, the lawless one. Posing as Yahushua, but in the name of J-C because there's so many Christians in the world. Um... They will try to warn others, but will be persecuted for standing against this man and his seemingly peaceful plans. The next section and the last section of this chapter is airlifted to safety away from the adder. Just before Yahuwah's wrath be 
begins during the last part of the tribulation. A moment of silence commences in Shamayim, or heaven, after Nazarim are caught up to meet Yahusha in the air. 1 Thessalonians 1.10 tells us Yahusha will rescue the, the assembly from the wrath to come. Then Yahuwah's remnant of 144,000 is sealed in their foreheads by him as he removes the restraining influence of his Ruach HaKodesh from everyone else on the earth. These 144,000 become the only people remaining with spiritual discernment to see the lie Satan has perpetrated by playing like he is Yahushua or J-E-S-U-S. Many of them will fail, will not fail, will fall as martyrs during Yahuwah's great wrath, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our Allahim Yahuwah in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed and hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Yasharal. Revelation 7, 3-4 As the world's population is left with only unbelievers, the anti-Mashiach will have a field day in going about his evil destruction. Unsaved people connected with their pineal gland to him through his unifi unified Mind Project will help bring Earth's kingdoms to the Battle of Armageddon. It is a proven fact. Um, it is a proven fact those who achieve psychic connections through paranormal activities, as well as Kundalini awakening, exhibit aggressive and disrespectable behaviors. Kundalini awakening exhibits aggressive and, and disrespectable behaviors. Such practitioners may have gained some personal power by building their ego, but their love of others suffers as they become more self-centered. This is how Satan plays his game because his realm is just an illusion of self-actualization without the promise of paradise. It is only through Yahuwah's Yehua, Ruach HaKodesh that humans receive the gift of spiritual hearing and are able to understand. Nazarim are not like serpents who cannot hear. This explains why Yahushua said he spoke in parables as recorded in Matthew 13, 13. Because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not. Bella, come here. Neither do they understand. Most snakes are blind or have extremely poor eyesight. They see more in infrared. Infrared involves longer wavelengths on the red edge of the visible light spectrum that is used for night vision where heat generates as color when an organism moves. That color movement is how snakes see. Snakes also have a strange way of hearing that differs from other species. They react only to sound, sound waves that affect the harmonic resonance of Earth's electromagnetic grid. Instead of hearing sounds like voices or music in the air, they feel its resonance through the ground, through their bodies. Snakes react to music that produces a certain beat or melody, like a cobra reacts not to the voice of the charmer, but the vibration of the music being played by a flute called a pungi or pungi. It is a hollowed gourd with two reeds that make a droning constant sound. This is why Mozart named his opera the Magic Flute, which exposed secret harmonic influences on the pineal gland, just like it does on a cobra. The cobra rises up just like the serpent rises up the human spine when humans sit in a cobra position, position chanting a mantra of kundalini. This technique is how Satan, the covering cherub, uses the harmonic resonance of Earth's vibrations to control those who follow him. Vibration of the pineal gland puts humans into a hypnotic state, causing them to become spiritually, spiritually blind. And without spiritual hearing, just like Satan. Psalm 58, 4 warns, their, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Satan is a very aggressive serpent, and if you open yourself up to him, he will take over and drive you straight into the gates of hell, or the gates of Sheol. 
The next chapter starts off with flying serpents. And then she separates each chapter into sections. Um, the first chapter of this is like, hold on, two, four, six, eight, eight pages, and then a little bit on the top of this one. And she separates them into little sections like this. ETs and UFOs is the one after flying serpents. And then, um, let me see. Just trying to give you guys a quick sneak peek of the next videos. Um, DNA reprogrammed is the one after that. And um, sinusodial oscillating pulse, divine words. And let me see if I can find another one real quick for you guys. Music to die for. Abominable flesh. White noise, Schumann resonance, and harmonics. Um, In the end we win is a, 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 another separate chapter she did. Um, and I guess the end there is the bibliography. Um, I thought we had a lot more to read in this book, but I guess I guess the most of the back goes to it is just the appendix and it shows all of the places where she got this information or all of this research. So I'm going to be speaking with my husband very soon on what to do about getting another book like this. I don't know if we're going to keep on with this series or if you guys want me to switch to a different series. Um, there was one called Beast Mark at the End of Days. Um, and I think there might have been another part to that. I'm not sure. Um, Beast Mark at the End of Days. Um, and I think it might have had something to do with an um, attack on the pineal, pineal gland or something. I think that's why I decided on this book instead because it has a lot more information. Um, about a lot of different things. Okay. Um, so as soon as I can, I will be getting the next book in that series. I will do a poll on my channel to ask you guys which book you would like me to read next. And hopefully I can get the images of the, of the books so that you guys can choose which one you guys think I should do next. I love you all with an everlasting love. And... I love praising our Abba Yahuwah, so this is my favorite part. Um, <clears throat> this one shouldn't be too hard on my voice for today, so we're going to do this. And I just got this cute little drum the other day. It just came. Praise Yahuwah. And I'm going to see how it sounds. I have, a, I have a dove tambourine as well. I would like to eventually get a drum but I haven't been able to find one that doesn't have some kind of strange symbol on the, on the front of it. Um, but it would be nice to get a drum sometime soon. Toto Rabba Abba Yahuwah. And I wrote this on the 18th of this month. Teaching me patience, for teaching me patience, leading me through the valley of the shadow of patience. Torah, Rabba, Abba Yahuwah. 
，从何来光？阿巴呀呼啊，呀呼阿的阿麦吉。我的双，托勒拉巴， for bringing shalom to my home, sending your kodesh malachi to protect us from above and below. To the rabba. With you, Abba Yah, my worries and cares of this wicked world—they all disappear—and you chase away all of my fears. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Yahusha, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Ruach Hakodesh. I love you all so much. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. I hope you guys all can find my channel so that you guys can um, watch these videos because I feel like they're very important in the last days. Um, I'll do a poll on both my channels because I'm not sure if I have new subscribers on this channel or um, subscribers from my from my old channel that just moved over to my new channel. So you guys can take a vote on both channels, which book you guys want me to um, invest in next to get for the ministry. I love you all with an everlasting love. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth.